Hello Aquarius, I missed you guys. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you are relaxing today. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. If you want a personal reading from me, you can just email me directly. My email will be below this video. So Aquarius, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. The universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius' highest good, please. You know, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one here wants to show up as extra message. You're not reaching out to your soulmate. You want to, but you're not reaching out and you feel like they should be reaching out to you at this point. You feel emotionally unfulfilled with the way things are going in this relationship. You feel this lack of communication. Um, you don't feel appreciated in this relationship. You feel alone in this relationship. You feel like you need to let it go. And yeah, you feel overwhelmed with stress, uh, anxiety. I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Aquarius. <clears throat> this person loves you, though. But this shows that they're not really expressing it to you. You don't feel loved in this relationship. This is unspoken love, unexpressed love. Let's see your subconscious position. There's a lot of stuff going on at your job. You feel overwhelmed with stress from uh, the work environment. This is you feeling overwhelmed with a lot going on. Wow, you're dealing with a lot, Aquarius. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know it's not easy dealing with uh, a relationship and job situations at the same time. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? You're trying not to feel sad. You're trying not to feel heartbroken. You're trying to protect your heart right now. Yeah, this is you trying to make wise decisions. You So there's two decisions you're trying to make. Something to do with your job and your relationship. You still love this person. Yeah, this is you recognizing that you still love them. Yeah, you do. You really love this person. Yeah, you feel very overburdened with stress. The Ten of so ten of Wands showed up twice. One for your relationship and one for your work environment. Yeah, this is you feeling kind of stuck, not seeing clearly right now how to proceed correctly, what to do with your relationship, how to do it and how to handle it, but also with your work environment. Yeah, you see, this is you feeling kind of unbalanced right now. You are very emotional about this situation and also trying to handle your work uh, load, your responsibilities at your job. Yeah, you're dealing with a lot, Aquarius. You really are. This is a lot to deal with. And it was to show us what's coming up for Aquarius and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? You're trying to be patient with what's going on at your job. Trying to be resilient, patient. Yeah. Yeah, this is you feeling drained from your work environment. You see, this is you feeling exhausted. Yeah, so something is going to change. You're going to speak up. You're going to say something. You're going to express uh 
what you need to express uh, to see changes that are necessary at your job. Whether you decide to leave or stay there under different conditions, something is going to change, shift, but you need to speak up. Yeah, you can't just not say anything. Even the best thing to do is to put it in writing professionally, right? Yeah. Um, it's the best way, yeah, to, to put it in writing professionally. Yeah, that's when you will uh, get the attention that you need to get to see changes. And if you don't see changes, then you know what you need to do. You need to look for something else, right? Yeah. Um, let's see what's going on with that soulmate of yours. Let's see, Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius and how is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius and how is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time, especially emotionally? Ooh. Yeah, you see, they feel that they need to clear the air with you, communicate with you. They feel so sad. This is them feeling sad about this relationship right now. Lack of communication. They feel extremely connected with you emotionally, spiritually. Lovers, number six, major arcana. Yeah, this person really loves you. But they know that they need to act more like a king of pentacles to... Uh, have this relationship work. This is them trying to figure out how to do this, what to do. Yeah, this is them very guarded emotionally. They know they need to have clear communication with you. So there's better understanding in this relationship. Hmm. This person is very proud, so it's hard for them to reach out first to show that they are emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, you see, they know that they need to clear the air with you. That is what's needed, communication. They realize that it's going to be the end of this relationship if they don't speak up, say something. But they know that you are disappointed. Yeah, they they aware of that. Oh, look at this. This is them worried how you're going to react, whether this is truly over or not. There's a lot of unanswered questions in this relationship on both sides. They have a lot of respect for you, viewing you as very powerful, very independent, strong-willed person. Yeah. Yeah, you see? Communication. They're trying to figure out how to do this. Ooh, so they do realize that you have valid reasons to be disappointed and walk away from this relationship for good. So for this to show up shows that you definitely have valid reasons to be highly disappointed. Yeah, to feel like maybe this is not working out. Yeah, you have valid reasons, Aquarius. Most definitely. Let's see, universe, please show us um, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius? <sighs> hmm. Their friends uh, are not giving them the best advice. This is them worried. Yeah, this person is very worried that this could be the end. Yeah, this person really loves you. Yeah, this is them trying to balance the energy, figure out how to do this, what to do. Let me see one more for you, Aquarius. We're going to do extended reading after this. Let's see one more for Aquarius. High is good. Look how beautiful your energy is. You're showing up here as an empress, someone of very high quality value, someone who is relationship material. Yeah, see, this communication needs to come in. The sword is pointing down, which stands for communication clarity. You're not reaching out at this time. You're not telling them exactly uh, how you feel. But apologies will need to be spoken. You see, this means apologies, sincere apologies from their side. 
but you know apologies are words um they need to prove themselves to you through actions yeah you see <clears throat> you feel such heavy energy in this relationship it's kind of turning you off emotionally you feel such heaviness yeah you don't feel lightness you feel heaviness and you want uh, to really make wise decision for yourself which I totally understand. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to <clears throat> know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so aquarius click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys